Hey guys, if you're a mechanic or engineer, you probably meet with such a device as this. And for those who don't know what is it, this is mechanical torque wrench. We are using this device to tight screw bolt nut with required force. How it works? Basically inside is a spring, uh, which you can preload with this knuggle. When you reach a required moment, you secure it and then you start to tightening. When you tie this, the bolt, you will reach the point when it starts to be hard and then you hear click. Now you know that bolt, screw, nut is tied with required force. It has a few limitations. Of course, this one is a small one, so you cannot expect that there will be a huge spring which will give you a huge amount of force or which can measure a huge amount of force. And of course, mine is for example only in newton meters, but you can have manual in you can have a requirement in the manual to use pound inches, pound foots, or decanewtons. For that, you need to calculate it, or you can go for upgrade. And for upgrade, I mean torque furniture like this. This is a digital two-way Bluetooth torque wrench and it's it's coming from Bachko. So let's take a look on some specs. Torque volume you can set in different units like newton meters, kilogram centimeters, deca newton meters, pound foots or pound inches. Range of this exact torque wrench is quite big. It is from 6.8 up to 135 newton meters. Torque wrench have a full metal body for high strength and long life. As you can see torque wrench also coming without head but you have many options which you can fit on this torque wrench. For example, I got half inch head. It have also good memory capacity of 1500 readings and up to 50 presets, which you can set through the keypad or through the app. Weight of the torque wrench without head is almost 600 grams, but with this quite heavy half inch head, it will raise up to 800, 700 grams. Now let's take a look on the Bluetooth function. You can easily connect torque wrench to your PC, mobile phone or tablet, doesn't matter if it is Android or Apple. App is available for all these devices. After you get the app in your phone, you need to of course create the account and log into it. Now we need to switch on the torque wrench and if Bluetooth function on your device is on, torque wrench will appear. You can save it to your list and after that you can easily connect directly to the torque wrench. Obviously this torque wrench needs to be powered by something. And that is 2A battery, which is quite easy to change. Put it back. The memory will hold, so whenever you replace the battery, you will don't lose your data. So everything stays stored. Now let's take a look on the basic function of the torque wrench. I'll preset their volume, for example, 6.8 newton meters. And you can easily change the units, as I mentioned before, with this U button. And it is 60 pound inches. Now we start to torque. You can see orange LEDs and volume on display. And when we reach required volume, we'll get a green LED volume on the display. We can hear the we can hear the sound and we can feel the vibration. Whenever we over torque, the same procedure, we get the red LED, we have volume on the display, the sound is different and the vibration is different. Now I would like to show you how torque wrench work with the app. It is exactly time when I need to change my winter tires on my Toyota Corolla. So on internet I found the proper torque for my summer tires and now I'm gonna preset it through the app into the torque wrench. So let's take a look how to do it. On the home screen you click on the taskbar and you will click on the presets. Here you can see all the previous presets which you made already and we'll create a new one. First you need to create a name. This name will be visible in the list of the presets. Then you need to choose unit in which you want to preset the torque value. Then you select minimum torque, maximum torque and the target torque. 
TurkWrench have also function to preset amount of the usage. So if you want to be sure that you don't forget any bolts, you can write exact value and this way you can be sure that everything is tight. So let's do it. We need to switch on the torque wrench, connect it to the app and transfer data to the torque wrench. As you can see, every time when I tie the bolt, the data are transferred to the tablet. They are displayed in real time and they are as well stored so you can review them after the work. As you can see, TorqueWrench realized that bolt number 20 was tight, which you can see on the right top corner. Let's move to the next function, which is adding the torque and then measuring the angle. Procedure is basically the same, you need to add the name, choose in which unit you want to torque, minimum torque, maximum torque, and target torque. Now we add the angle, so minimum angle, maximum angle and the target angle. Then we choose which way we want to measure the angle. I choose a clockwise. When everything is okay you click on the create and we are ready to go. And this is how it works. We apply the torque and now it measures the angle. We are reaching the point 103 degrees. Sometimes you need to use extension to your torque wrench. Then you need to calculate the force because with this extra length of the handle the force will be too big and you can cause damage to the device which you are tightening. With standard torque wrench you need to use this formula to calculate the force. But with this torque wrench from Bachko you have special function for this. We can again preset this on the torque wrench itself through the keypad or again through the app, which is much easier. So we follow the same procedure. We make a name, we choose units, set the minimum torque, maximum torque, target torque, and then here on the bottom, head length, we choose in which units we want to add it, we add a volume, and we press create. Easy as that. So, price, how much is torque wrench will gonna cost you? Well, it costs 2,160 euro. I know the price is a little bit higher, but for all the functions which it have, I think it's worth it. It's easy to preset, it's easy to use, and it will save you a lot of time at work. Well, that's all what I want to show you today. Hopefully you like a video like this. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about the torque wrench. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.